Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, I have already uploaded a quiz assignment solutions for week one. So this is programming assignment. So here I will give all the five programming assignment solutions. So please note down the program guys. So I will uh, zoom the zoom them for you. So guys, for the past five years, we have been provi providing solutions for various courses, including this one as uh, programming in Java as well. So guys, please watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video, guys. If I make any changes in between the code, you may miss some content. So do watch full video and definitely like the video. Share this video in your WhatsApp college student groups and please subscribe our channel, guys. So let's see the first question. Ja write a Java program to check if a given integer is even or odd. So we have to select Java as the language for this. So they have given this part, guys. The first part and the last part. So we, we cannot change this. So in between this, we have to add the code according to the previous given integer names or variable names. So here we want to we have to check if it is even or odd. So according to the given question, uh, constraints, so we have to write the code and the variable should be the same that they, um, what they have used. So I will show you the code now. You can take a screenshot or you can pause the video at certain moments and you can note down the code, guys. So this is the code if number so number is already the given variable name so definitely we have to use the, that only if number modulus modulus means reminder so if if, in, if you divide this number by two then the reminder should be equal to zero then it will be even number otherwise it should be odd number by giving this else right so don't forget any word i mean any letter guys because each and every letter each and every uh i mean everything every entity is important guys so so copy this i am copying this so each and every letter each and every character is important here guys even including this one guys it is capital e and it is odd in this odd it is capital o right so i have copied this and i am pasting it in the prompt area so this is the code if you want, I can uh, zoom this for you, right? So this is the code, guys. So now I will try to execute that for you, okay? So there is a button called compile and run, right? So click on this. So after that, you can be able to see that. So the compilation is passed, one by one test case passed. Here it will show the status. Past doctor ignoring presentation error. So presentation error is nothing but so there is a slash n right. So there is no slash n in the expected output, but we got slash n. So that is just a space uh, next line character. Okay? So I um, mean no need to worry. So it is not a concern. So you'll get full marks. So the status is passed, right? So only you have to see this. You can ignore this presentation error. So they themselves told that like that, right? So no need to worry. So it is status passed. And again, click on the submit button, then only it will be submitted. So after submission, what happened means there will be hidden test cases, private test cases in after the clicking the submit button. So that is also, there is only one test case that is also passed. So test case one passed. So our code is 100% correct. Now let's move on to the second code. So this is the second programming code. So they are asking about uh, writing, write a Java program to calculate the volume of a cylinder given its radius and height so volume is pi r square h pi means 22 by 7 right and r square means radius square of the radius h means height so you have to use math dot pi you can use math dot pi so already they have declared the variables radius and height so we have to definitely we have to use these variables only in cal using the formula so calculate the volume so now I will show you the code for the second question. There is only one line, guys. So one line code that that is double volume is the variable name here. Vo double space volume equals math dot pi. We already told we can use that into I mean multiplied by multiplied by math dot math is the library, right? So power means it's a function power r, r power two. That means r square radius square into height. So copy this guys. I'm copying this 
double space volume equals math dot pi into math dot power of radius comma two into height and paste it here. I will zoom this. Don't worry. So only single line code guys. So the thing that I have highlighted is the one you have to be noted. So note this single line code. So you can take a screenshot or you can pause the video here and you can type, type it parallelly. Now I'm going to submit this case. How can you do that? First we have to click on compile and run button. So here you can see it is passed. The status is passed, right? Next click on submit button to check hidden test cases also. So I have clicked the submit button as well. Here there is only one private test case and it is also passed. So our solution for second question also 100% correct. Now let's move on to the third one. So third one, write a Java program to print the multiplication table of a given number up to five. Suppose if we give the number three, it should print from here you can see. If you give five, from five into one to five into five. So until this, all numbers should be printed, right? You have to print. So I'll show you the code for third one as well. Please wait. So this is the code this we use for loop here for loop so this is the code you can pass the video or you can take a screenshot guys so we use for loop here here this in system the s is capital s the first s right now i'm going to execute this so you can once again watch the video guys but i have to complete this right so i'm making it very quick so you can see the test case is passed after ignoring presentation error so no need to worry it is passed right next click on submit button so this one is also passed next moving on to the fourth question now Fourth one, complete the code fragment that reads two integer inputs from keyboard and compute the quotient and reminder. Next, I will show you the code for fourth one as well. So this is the code guys, please note it down. So quotient x by y, x divided by y. For reminder, we use modulus, right? So note that now I am going to paste it here. And zoom this for you. So this is the coding part you have to type. Right? So the S yes should be the capital guys in the both the print statements system. Next, now I'm going to click on compile and run button. So here you can see it is also passed after ignoring presentation error, right? Next, clicking on submit button. So it is also passed. Now, moving on to the final program. Programming assignment 5. So print a pattern of stars of height n, right? Suppose if n equal to 3, we have to print like this. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. So starting with 3, next 2, next 1 and similarly the 1 will be the common one and next 2 and next 3. So this should be the pattern if we give 3, right? So I will show you the code for the last one. So this is quite a bigger one guys. So note it carefully. So this is the first for loop. For the second of this is the next for loop. Second uh, loop is always increasing, right? So you give one plus plus, I mean I plus plus. The first one is always decreasing from higher number to less number. So it is minus minus, right? Just think of that. So I'm copying the code. And pasting it here. So I'm going to paste the code here. I will zoom this for you. No, don't worry right so this is the this highlighted part should be the code right 
hope you noted it down now i'm going to compile it so the status is passed next click on submit button so here also it is passed so friends uh, we have su successfully tested all our five codes and all all of them are passed so our solutions are 100 percent correct so friends these are the solutions for week one programming assignment solution of the course programming in java so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates guys and keep supporting our channel like this so until the next video goodbye thank you and do check out the quiz assignment as well